Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to try to answer to the following question which is about how to design a great report for a stakeholder. So typically uh, the idea of this video came from a client of mine who wants to have a weekly report for a stakeholder, so let's say a decision maker uh, within the organization with uh, uh, some standard reports, so things which are kind of easy to plot on Matomo. Um, graph evolution, I just added this one but I'm gonna say like visualization, let's say you know, something which is self-explicit and not just table report. And uh, what I call here exploratory report, which means that when you read your client requirements, you can clearly see that it's not gonna be possible with a PDF report because uh, what the client is sometimes asking is like, okay, I want to have like a first level of information, like, okay, um, I want to know um, the how much visit I'm getting from such a giant, but I want to know as well. I want to have as well the possibility to dig within one specific search engine and to know the keywords which are behind. Uh, same thing dealing with a source of uh, a source of traffic. Plus, for each source of traffic, I would like to know by which page. Uh, people are having a look at uh, first, so let's say entry pages, and this is where you realize that the static report, so uh, by static report in Matomo, it means going over here, going over here in email report and creating an email report, that's not gonna work because uh, you have several issues here. So the first one is those are static, so you cannot dig into it. And the other issue that uh, you're gonna face with the reports is that you cannot order them in the way you want okay so for example uh, by clicking over here those two for example i cannot control the combined keywords to be above the old channels or uh, the old channels to be below the combined keyword right matt is going to pick up in a in a way that i probably uh, do not want so uh, here you are facing of course um, a barrier and the answer to this is dashboards so um, I'm going to explain that in a minute. For this, I'm going to just pick up, um, just going to pick up a dashboard that I created. So the dashboard that I created is the following one. As you can see, I have different reports. So one which is about device type, one which is about visit per local time, visit days by week, web keywords on Google. Um, let's um, now do something a bit different. So those are what I call standard reports. But maybe your client is going to ask you something which is not part of the default report in, in Matomo. So you go over here, you create a new report, you give it a name. So I'm going to use like the exploratory thing that I was talking about some minutes ago. Let's say it's an um, entry page or let's say by which uh, which page, uh, which entry pages people are coming from, okay? Um, and for this, I'm just going to use like what I just say, the channel type, but then I'm going to put my exploratory report over here. And here I'm going to say, okay, entry pages, okay, entry page URL. And that's going to be like um, a custom report. I can leave it this way, or I can either decide uh, to put it uh, within, um, within another report. So here I'm going to keep it this way. Okay, I'm going to keep it this way just for the sake of, of this example. I will come back later on to this one. So, okay, so now, um, well, by the way, could even put it like this with a question mark because that will be more uh, self-explanatory. Okay, let's go. Uh, so now I go over here and I can select, in fact, the, um, the custom report that I want. So I go over here, I go for uh, custom report which is not appearing here because it's just a, a small cache issue so if I refresh my page I could now pick it up so it's a uh, custom report over here and which entry pages are people coming from okay uh, so now I have it and as you can see now I can put it wherever I want okay so of course at the moment we do not have any um, let's say any um, any data so it's kind of frustrating let's just take one month of data and now we are uh, we are happy as we are getting some uh, some data over here uh, i guess you are seeing the, the the first point here so here you don't have any any data yet which is kind of frustrating as well so i'm going to use the invalidate report and you're going to be happy 
as a heap. So uh, we go over here and I just do this and I just invalidate the report and now I'm going to have the data as I wanted to have them within within my dashboard. Okay, um, so now your client can answer to the question which is about uh, the exploratory thing. So now they can really dig into uh, the, the data. So I go over here, select one month of data and uh, we are getting the Data. So to say, now your client is able to request something based on the channel type and uh, can get the answer that they want. And of course, they can go on the wiki basis. So uh, here, as you can see, they click over here and they get uh, the different um, entry pages. In my case, kind of slow because I don't have a great um, database server. Okay, that, that's the thing. Um, then the big question is, okay, but I'm not going to send us. So of course, you can change as well the... Sorry, I did not preside that out, but you can of course change the data visualization. So this is where the dashboards come in handy. Of course, uh, here the issue is that you cannot send that to your stakeholders because your stakeholders gonna probably play over here, gonna say, okay, that's too complicated for me. Uh, you cannot even make like a decent print screen as you can see, it's gonna take the full stuff and that's probably not what you want. In order to avoid this, you have a feature within Matomo IT. So you just need to click over here and then you go on platform and then you go on uh, widgets and you have in fact this part out. So you can definitely just send them this link which is the dashboard uh, part over here and then uh, you have exactly what you want. So they can select like a week and they will be happy uh, to get exactly the data that, that they want or that you want. Uh, you can of course use a, um, a browser extension in order to just make, um, oops, I got it, oops, uh, that's the dashboard part. Um, so you can in fact just go over here and click on make a print screen and it's going to make a full print screen of the of the page so including everything that you had over here which of course answer um, probably to the question of making it as, as a report uh, i think the best way is to create them an access a user uh, view access and to just send them this url and like this uh, as you can see unless they play over here well, uh, they are not supposed to get an access to all the data and they just get the link on which they can easily check the data in real time and see uh, what is going on. So it's it's kind of straightforward. Um, when you send them the link, I'm just going to check that out. Yes, uh, the in fact, you can decide, um, as you can see, the, the period over here. So if I'm just taking like the second week of April and that's I'm... Uh, so here in my case, uh, I should have this dashboard first. That's, uh, well, so you have your URL. You copy paste the URL and you send it to your stakeholder and they're just gonna paste the URL and they're just gonna uh, have an access to it if uh, they have an access to, uh, to Matomo as a user. So in my case, just gonna paste it over here. And as you can see, they get straight away the access to uh, the dashboard that that you wanted them to have a look at. So that that's really powerful and that's the kind of thing that's uh, which is which is probably good because they can get the answer straight away to, to what they want. And the other thing which is neat with Matomo Analytics that you should know is that you can easily create uh, your custom report and assign them to uh, the same custom report. So uh, for example, here I created a report so not this page, unfortunately. I think I was it in the Swedish part, maybe. Um, okay, here you see this report that I recently created. I can definitely uh, decide to create another report. I'm gonna do just a visit, a visit one, and uh, you can make uh, like an evolution of it, oops, like this and you can decide to put it in a subcategory and it means that it's going to use exactly the same report in order to plot everything on it so you can like this in fact create as many reports as you want the problem is that uh, you cannot change them and make them um, uh, move them let's say i'm going to do another which is like the browser per visit uh, so browser and browser per visit browser per visits and you can assign it to the same still uh, subcategory. In fact, it's going to just put them one against the other. And you can, like this as well, 
create like a full uh, report which is gonna have in fact all the different um, by the way if you want to you can also create other uh, table which is gonna fit over here I'm just gonna make this last example um, so we're gonna say like uh, hours hours and you go over here and you select the time and we should be ready to go Oops, steps Oops. and uh, and that's it so now as you can see it's gonna create a full report with all the data that we want so I'm just gonna invalidate the data again and we're just gonna get a report the only thing is that this one is as exploratory and static so it means that you can uh, explore it but you cannot Play. Uh, you cannot move in fact the report from one place to the other one but it's it's kind of interesting as well I'm just gonna take like one week of data oops like this one and here we are so we have now the report which is showing us in fact all the custom report that you created with the right title that your clients want uh, and uh, all in one page so as well here you can uh, create it as a as a print screen and then send it to your uh, to your client. Uh, it's gonna work the same way. It's just that um, it's you will have this column or this. One. So I think that this part is probably the one that your stakeholder uh, will be interested in, which is gonna make them as well uh, independent. Thank you for your attention.